Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to day 22 of 30 days 30 concepts of Flutter series. In the last part, that is day 21, we saw how you can change your Flutter launcher icons and we created this icon and how you can add the native splash screens to your app. But now, let's say you are publishing your apps, there is one more thing that is going to torture you is the bundle IDs. So if I just go to Play Store website, you can see that there are so many apps. But there is one ID that makes these apps unique. So all these apps are having unique ID that is called a bundle ID. And that bundle ID is, uh, let's say for Android, it is there in Android, then app, then let's go to build.gradle. And in the build.gradle, you will find com.example.30widgets in application ID, right? But when you will go to your Play Store or Play Console and you will try to add your app, this app, it will say that this app ID is not valid because you cannot add com.example thing on your Play Store, right? And this unique ID should also not match with some other app's ID, right? So this ID should be unique. So basically the syntax that we follow is com. Dot, then company name, let's say you are having a company called ABC. So com.abc dot your app name. Let's say your app name is xyz so com.abc.xyz right perfect okay so that's the thing and the same thing is for the app store also so you cannot add a already existing application id to your new app right so now there is a package called rename package on pub.dev and you can use this package to rename your bundle ids because you cannot you don't want to like go to every time you don't want to go to build.gradle and then uh, rename this package and for iOS you have to go to Xcode. So for going to Xcode you have to click right click on iOS and then click on open in Xcode. So this is going to open the Xcode. And over here also I'll show you where is the bundle ID. So let me just open it. So for uh, seeing the bundle ID go to runner then general and you can see the bundle identifier over here com.example.30widgets. So you don't want to go to Xcode and rename your bundle IDs every time, right? So for that thing, we are having a rename package. So using this rename package, you can rename your apps and you can rename your bundle IDs. So you can see that there is my app name 30 widgets in the mobile screen, home screen, right? So you also can rename your uh, uh, app names using this rename package. So for that thing, let's go to terminal. You don't have to code anything. You just need this package documentation and everything will be clear, right? So for that thing, let's just copy this command, pub global run rename app name network up, right? So this is going to uh, rename your app name. So for that thing, you have to write dart, then paste that command, right? And in this double quotes, you can write the name of your app. So let's say my app name is 30 widgets, 30, 30 commands, let's say 30 concepts, 30 concepts hit enter and it is going to rename my uh, app name. So when, if I will just re, uh, rerun the app, you will see that 30 concepts will be there in my rename. So it is saying that your app, uh, Android app name is successfully changed to 30 concepts. Your iOS name is successfully changed to 30 concepts like this. Now let's change the bundle ID. That's most important thing because uh, without changing the bundle ID, you cannot, you will not be able to upload your app on Play Store or App Store, right? So let me just copy this command. Let's go to terminal uh, and paste it. And you have to write dart first. So let me just run it. So it will give me an error. Write dart first, then paste that command. And then you can uh, remove this com dot everything. And let's say my company name is ABC and my app name is XYZ and hit enter. So it will say that my bundle name is also successfully changed. So if I now go to uh, build.gradle, and yes, you can see application name is com.abc.xyz perfectly. And I think in the runner in Xcode also it will be changed. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So it is changed. So this was how you can change your app names and uh, bundle IDs. But there is one more thing you can uh, you can selectively change your bundle IDs. Let's say you only want to change the bundle ID or app name for your iOS. So you can just write rename app name your app name and target is iOS. So this T means target, your target is iOS. Same thing is for the Android. Same thing is for the Mac operating system like this. So this is a very important package if you are going for publishing your apps because you cannot publish your apps without changing your app IDs, right? So I hope you uh, would, I hope this was uh, something important uh, in your app application development journey. And I hope this video added some value to it. 
सो टिल नेक्स्ट कंटेंट कीप कोडिंग कीप इनोवेटिंग एंड थैंक्स अलॉट